A Ukrainian foreign exchange student who's been studying in Jordanson for eight months is headed home early because of the coronavirus pandemic. She was chosen out of thousands for a competitive exchange program, and she's sad to leave. The night team's Courtney Friedman spoke to her about her experience in America and her dream to return one day to go to college. Decked out in Jordanton High School gear, 15-year-old Ukrainian student Ala Mueller fits right in, something that was tough at first when she started her foreign exchange program. It's really, really hard to live far away from your parents. But it didn't take long for her to flourish, becoming close with her host family and even dating a new boyfriend. We were supposed to have our, like, six-month anniversary, I guess, like on 25th of April. And we were supposed to go to prom together. But plans are cut short. She's been here for eight months. Her program's supposed to end in June. But her parents are worried about the coronavirus and she's heading home early. They don't know if the program itself will be able to give us any flights later. She'll fly home Thursday, just a week before her 16th birthday. When I was a kid, I watched a Disney movie where the girl had like 16 candles. And I don't remember the name of it. It was like 16 wishes or something. And it happened in America. So it was like a dream to have my 16th birthday in America. As for what she'll miss most about America? Honestly, I think it's going to be food. <laughs> I think it's going to be Subway for sure. <laughs> I, I like, I literally want to uh, send an email to Subway and ask them to open in Ukraine. She hopes to come back to the U.S. for college. For me, American colleges are always where, like something you can that you can see only in the movies, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's just such an amazing experience. Plus, I really love education here. Like, a lot of students from America, they don't like school, but I actually enjoy going to school here. Like, I love it. She'll miss Texas, but says she is excited to see her family back in Ukraine. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.